what's up guys welcome back to the vlog 2023 style yes i know i'm looking kind of rough i sound kind of rough i'm still under the weather getting over uh, a cold i had but guys i wanted to bring to you a video i thought it was very important going to the into the new year uh that i want to bring to you guys and that is safety tips for street photography 2023 style so the first tip and this is only for those of uh, you who are viewing the video who are 18 and over um and please adhere to the uh laws the weapons laws in your state but i say the first tip most important tip when you're out doing street photography is to have some sort of weapon with you now normally um a lot of people shy away from putting this as a safety tip but with all the things that happen happening to photographers and to artists and models as they're out uh, creating art uh, in their field is that they end up becoming victims of robberies and sometimes assault so uh, it's great to have a weapon that you train with normally I carry me a uh, bowie knife uh, usually up to about three to four knives uh, with me on a normal day uh, today I'm out in the cater uh, after work so I really don't need need any with me but my weapons are never far from me or I carry my katana now you might be saying Michael you just said adhere to the weapons laws and I'm pretty sure carrying a katana in Georgia is illegal well yes you may be right but I don't care um, but I do not do not suggest that for anybody else um i know what comes with it if i get caught but i also do know that i take my safety uh to the utmost and i do want to make sure that i make it back home and that's the biggest thing uh when we're out creating art um we want to make sure that we make it back home uh so yeah so i'm out here doing uh street photography uh today in decatur and yeah we're gonna go around and talk some more about these tips So rule number two, when you're out doing street photography, of course, rule number one is for those 18 and older. Rule number two, of course, is for those that are younger or those that don't feel comfortable uh, carrying a weapon when they're out doing uh, street photography. And that second rule is, no, you're good. The second rule is walking with a group. It's best to walk with a family member, uh, walk with fellow photographers, or walk with people uh, that you're cool with, your friends, for example, uh, that give you that safety barrier when you're out doing street photography. You can even use them for models. And that helps uh, give you a sense of comfortability when you're out shooting, and that way, you don't feel scared uh, when you're out in certain places, especially at night doing night photography. It's very rewarding part of street photography and it's definitely better uh, when you have a large group with you or two or three of your closest friends with you to make you feel comfortable. Now, rule number three is kind of a two part and it's mainly just uh, shooting areas that are highly populated. So you want to shoot in areas where you know there's going to be a lot of people. One, it's great for street photography. You have a lot of subjects. And it's just good for you that you have a lot of people who are around. Should something happen, uh, there'll be a lot of witnesses uh, to whatever happens. Not that anything will happen, but just in case, you definitely want to err on the side of caution and uh, make sure that you're somewhere that's um, highly populated. And as well, that is well lit. Um, again, if you're new to street photography, you don't want to shoot in an area that is dark or has little to no light, especially if you're not comfortable being out in the area that you're in uh, by yourself or with your group. And for safety reasons, of course, if it's well lit, that also helps uh, onlookers uh, be able to spot if anything happens uh, to you or people that you're with. And the last tip is just to have fun. Uh, the most rewarding part of street photography, of course, is being able to go out and create images and have fun while doing it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the end of the video. 
I ain't sound very nonchalant about it. I'm uh, gonna enjoy this ice cream real quick. I don't need it, but I'm gonna enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy those tips. I know it was a short video. Go out, create art, uh, be safe while doing it. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Peace.